Today we're talking about why I'm not buying my kids any Christmas presents this year. Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Julie and I talk about homemaking, homeschooling, and intentional living on this channel. If that interests you, think about subscribing. Today I'm doing a collab with Nikki Schumacher Official. I will have the link to her video in the description box, so be sure to check that out after you watch this video. We are going to be talking about why we don't buy our kids presents, or maybe not a lot of presents, or maybe just one, or maybe none. <laughs> For me, it depends on the year. Um, there have been years where I've bought nothing, and there have been years where I've bought one thing or something simple that maybe a lot of people wouldn't even consider a Christmas present. <laughs> Um, but this is just the way that we do it in my family and as always with my videos I would ask that you take what works for you and leave what doesn't. So for a lot of the years that I've been married and had kids we have traveled around the holiday season. So the travel expense is an added expense to our everyday budget and that is something that we have to account for. So. Uh, we do uh, do a lot of traveling and then also we're buying presents for family members. We do a gift exchange uh, for the adults in my family. So we're just buying one gift from me and one gift from my husband in the name of the family for the person whose name they have drawn. And then we buy gifts for the little ones and then for his family I get something for each person. There's less adults on that side. So that's how we do it as far as gifts go, but that is also another added expense to our budget. And in, in giving to these adults, they also give my children gifts, and there are more adults than children on my side of the family, so my kids get a lot of gifts from my side of the family as well as my husband's side of the family, so they are not missing out on Christmas cheer or joy or <laughs> presents. So that is something that I take into consideration with how much I buy for them. This year, I'm actually taking my kids to a Christmas concert. So this is an expense, but I know that this will be a memory that they will have forever and it'll be really fun for all of us and it'll be a nice experience. And so this is an expense and I'm calling it a Christmas present for them, um, even though it's not gonna be under the tree and they're not gonna unwrap it on the 25th. So this is something that might work for you, might not be your jam, but I love the idea of giving experiences over things and I'm not against things for sure and everybody's gonna do what works for them. But for me, this is something that I'm looking forward to and I know they're really going to enjoy it on a day other than Christmas. Now this year, I have never done this before, but I actually got us Christmas jammies and so I will probably be giving those to my kids. I'll probably try to keep it a surprise and then give it to them on Christmas Eve and so they can be wearing their Christmas jammies on Christmas morning and I don't know if you consider that a present or not, but that's something I'm doing. And so you can see that I am spending money on them, but I just feel like since they're gonna be opening so many presents from other people on Christmas morning, I don't really need to add to that when I could fill in other spaces and spend money on other things that other people aren't going to be paying for. Now, even if you don't have other people giving your kids lots of toys, it's gonna to be up to you. I know I have read the Little House on the Prairie series when they got just really simple, small things for Christmas and they were so thankful. And to read that, it really pricks my heart and makes me think, how are our kids reacting these days? Is it good that they're getting so many presents all the time or would it be nice to see the joy and the gratefulness coming from them when they just receive something small and um, is there a way that we could give to other people if we're doing all right ourselves. Now I am not against giving your kids things or having nice things if that makes you happy but I also love the idea of giving Christmas away as the song says. So this year we've had fun um, doing a Christmas shoebox and we're gonna be caroling at a nursing home. And I'm not saying this to like sound awesome or whatever, but these are memories that I had as a kid that I enjoy having now. I always loved going and Christmas caroling to people who maybe couldn't leave where they are or had something going on in their life that made uh, that season a little more difficult for them. Bringing that joy to somebody else is a gift that is for them, but it's also a gift for you to be able to experience that joy with them. This year we're not doing an advent calendar since we'll be doing a bit of traveling and stuff. It'll just be kind of weird. But um, there have been years in the past when I've done advent calendar little storybooks with them and we really enjoyed doing that. This year we bought a Christmas tree so we didn't buy a whole lot of decor but I did make a video about the decor that I do have up. Just a couple of things 
here and there. We kept it really simple this year, but I will link that video in the cards. Doing things like making Christmas cookies or having hot chocolate together and watching some sort of Christmas movie can be a gift in its own, I believe. So even though it's not necessarily buying something for them or unwrapping something, I think having those fun memories is really a gift in itself. I will link a video that we watched recently in the description box, it's called The Star, and I thought it was a fun, cute cartoon that the kids enjoyed and I enjoyed as well. When I was a kid, I remember my grandpa's pickup truck. We would go around and we would look at Christmas lights and sing Christmas carols, and that is the memory that I will always treasure, and to me, that lasts way longer than things. Another memory that I have that I love is going to a Christmas tree farm. Now, my parents actually used a fake tree. They didn't buy a tree, but sometimes they would buy a wreath or something small there, and we would have hot chocolate around a campfire, and it was just a precious memory of being there around the smell of trees. We just enjoyed having a little holiday spirit, and they would actually do fake snow with some soap. <laughs> they would have a little soap machine that looked like snow and so the kids got to enjoy like pretend snow here in Florida. That's what you got to do. But having that, that's actually been a tradition that we've done for several years and I really enjoyed having that memory. So I'd like to hear about your Christmas traditions and memories and things that you do with your kids that may not necessarily be the normal Christmas present, <laughs> but it's something that you enjoy giving to your kids every year. Maybe it's giving them a memory or an experience or something like that. Uh, do you do stocking stuffers? Do you do presents? Do you go all out? Do you keep it simple? I'd love to hear from you. And I'm looking forward to watching Nikki's video as well to get her ideas on the subject. And I just thought it would be fun to have another idea out there. Um, if you've seen a lot of I got this and that and the other thing for my kids for Christmas, I love those videos too. I think they're super fun. But I just wanted an alternative if maybe you're not in that place and you're thinking about going into debt for your Christmas, thinking that maybe you're a bad mom if you don't get your kids stuff. You're not, you're doing the best that you can and I know you're doing a great job and they'll have great memories from this season. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you being here. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't yet and I will see you in my next video. Thanks, bye.